The man designated to be the next prime minister of Lebanon has resigned amid an impasse in efforts to form a new government. Mustafa Adib was parachuted into the position in the wake of August's devastating blast in the capital Beirut and the subsequent resignation of the government. A former ambassador to Germany, Adib blamed political infighting over cabinet positions for his decision to step down. Lebanon has been gripped by months of protests over corruption and a protracted economic crisis. Let's cross straight to Beirut, where DW correspondent uh, Basil Laridi is standing by. Basil, it's good to see you. Another stalemate in the ongoing political impasse. What more can you tell us? Indeed, the country now uh, is going ahead into political turmoils. A few days ago, the Lebanese president said in answering questions of the journalists, what will happen if the French initiative fail? He said, we'll go straight to hell. It seems that the, the country, Lebanon, now is coming closer to this political hell, uh, especially as you mentioned, when we talk about Lebanon, we talk about political, uh, financial, economic uh, collapse. This happened uh, after the uh, announcement of the step down for the designated prime minister the Lebanese pound lost of, of it, uh, more of its value against the U.S. dollars. Now the, the rate is around 8,000, more than 8,000 Lebanese pound for one U.S. dollar, mm. which means that the Lebanese pound lost around 80 percent of its value. So the, the situation is very critical. Uh, the, all the Lebanese parties, after the step down, announcement of the step down, all political parties said that, said that they still hand, uh, hand with, with the French initiative. But who's going to buy this now? Mm. This is the main question. So, Basil, to say that Lebanon is suffering is, is clearly uh, an understatement. Uh, French President Emmanuel Macron, uh, ha who has visited the country uh, twice since the blast, had given a, a yep. two-week deadline to Lebanon to form a government in order to receive much-needed financial aid. They clearly have not been able to meet this demand. What's next for Lebanon? This is the main question that I asked all my sources that I called after the, the announcement. They said that they still, as I mentioned, that they still uh, hang with the French initiative. But some, according to some sources, that the French initiative failed especially that they gave first two weeks on the 1st of September, then they gave an extension for another two weeks, and all it, it failed to achieve anything for, uh, uh, in, in this uh, uh, regard. So do the French, uh, mainly the president, uh, French president, has another alternative, another initiative? This is the main question as well. No one has the answer. It seems that the, uh, some believe that the, the only solution now is the uh, resign the uh, government, back to, to the cabinet, to the Sarai Grand Sarai, where the ministerial uh, cabinet uh, usually meet, and to go back to work again, since mm. it seems that it's so hard to form a new government regarding the internal turmoils, the conflict, confrontation between uh, political parties and the regional conflict. Mainly we're talking here about the, between the confrontation between Iran and the U.S. Basil Aridi in Beirut for us. As always, Basil, much appreciated. Thank you.